Hi everyone! Today I am going to be talking about something really cool that my husband and I did. Uh, we've actually done it twice. We have gone to this restaurant called Park Row. So this restaurant is really interesting because it's not just a restaurant. It's a lounge, it's a bar, and it's an event. When you go into this, um, into Park Row, you first go into Alf the Alfred part of it, which is the Wayne Library. And they push a little book and the door opens to the stairwell that you will go down and it's really cool because it's a spiral staircase with this light installation in there uh, and it just it goes down until you get to the iceberg lounge part and the rogues gallery and the monarch theater part i've actually gone twice now i went in early september and late september um, the first time I went, it was really cool, I went to the part called the Rogues Gallery, which is based off of the villains. So if you know anything about Batman, you would know that Catwoman is, she's considered a villain, even though I have different opinion of that. She's considered a villain, so it was themed as, as as if it were her art gallery and one of the coolest little uh, tidbits that they had in there um, in terms of the attention to details each art piece was vandalized uh, with different um, villains things like one I believe it was frozen um, like painted as if it was frozen there was one that was clawed there was one that had um, the Shakespeare's bust had um, half of the face melted and you had um, the entire part of this um, this this restaurant was this like blush pink color that I think was really awesome because it was kind of like what I think of Selena Kyle uh, who is well, spoiler alert, Selena Kyle is Catwoman. Um, it's, it's what I envision her kind of like apartment to be in Gotham. So that was really great. I loved my first experience there, just going to the restaurant portion of it. Um, when you are in the rogues gallery, you can see the kind of like the iceberg lounge part of it and you see this this frozen penguin with um, smoke coming out of him and everything and that is so beautiful it really has this fabulous art deco style with a modern twist and I think that's kind of what Gotham is supposed to look like again in my opinion um, I really really love the aesthetic of of this restaurant um I, I do think the rose the rogues gallery is probably my <laughs> aesthetic the most but yeah so onto the drinks menu they had this spectacular drinks menu that was batman themed as well obviously it's a batman themed restaurant i think we get the point mary so I didn't actually get to try anything um, from the specialty part of the menu, which is based off of different aspects of Batman, because I don't drink alcohol. I do wish they had something that didn't have um, have alcohol in it that was kind of like a specialty drink um, for us non-alcoholic drinkers. Um, yeah, I know they had coffee and stuff, but I didn't, it was, by the time we, got there and everything I think it was like past 10 o'clock and I didn't really want to have a coffee so on top of the spectacular drinks menu and the spectacular food menu they also had a spectacular staff I will say this is hands down the best uniform I've ever seen in a restaurant <laughs> it was so cool um I believe 
the outfits that they had on were like these lovely like tuxedo-esque um, outfits. I think they had velvet on them. If they don't, it looked like velvet and it was just, oh my god, penguin eleganza. That's what we're going to call it. That is that is their uniform, penguin eleganza. I can't say this enough, but it was spectacular. The whole evening felt really lovely. It felt as if I was in Gotham and that is really what... I really wanted and you know I got all dressed up so did my husband and my friends and we wanted to have a really great evening and it was lovely and I absolutely want that uniform to just strut around in I really do I will strut my ass around London around where I live now I will strut it in Oklahoma City Oklahoma if I have to <laughs> I just loved it that's how much I loved it I'm going to talk about the Park Row Monarch Theater part now. So the first dinner that I went to was just a dinner. It was just food and drinks and the lovely decor and ambiance and, and all that jazz. And then you have the Park Row Monarch Theater part of it. This is a, a really amazing dinner show that is just unbelievably cool. So in this thing, I say thing because I don't necessarily want to call it just a dinner because it was an experience. It was um, a visual experience. It was um, an experience <laughs> to my taste buds. And it was a musical experience as, as well. It was basically a, a, an art piece in a, you know, in the form of a dinner show. And the way that they did this was just hands down, it's probably going to be one of the best experiences that um, I have. In, in London. With this um, experience, I'm not going to give it away because I think people should go there and, and find out what characters they used and to see all of the food for themselves and to be able to taste it and, you know, all of that. Go, go to this place. Go to this place. <laughs> it's, I cannot stress enough how, how, absolutely wonderful this place was. So with every course they had a different alcohol to go with it. Um, what's really cool about um, different wines and alcohols is they can be paired with different types of food and you can really enhance your experience with that. Park Row kindly changed the drinks menu for me during this, um, sh during this experience, because I, again, I don't drink alcohol and the drinks that they paired with it, I feel enhance the flavors in the food that I had. And I've honestly never really been the type of person to order, um, different, um, non-alcoholic wines or anything like that. I've always just been like, I'm a Diet Coke gal or a water gal. If you've got some unsweetened iced tea, that's okay too. But the drinks that they had were just, they were wonderful and they told me what they were and they didn't make a big deal about it. They kind of um, said it to me in a hush-hush way, which was really, really kind of them. And I think that's really cool because sometimes um, if I'm in a restaurant, I feel like the odd man out because I'm, I'm the one that doesn't drink the alcohol and da 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 da. That's enough about that. They also kindly catered to my allergies. I am allergic to a lot of things, but, um, specifically shellfish and cucumber. They were really, really, really kind, and I'm going to say that word over and over again because that's what they were. Not all restaurants will change a dish just for you, and they did that. And it made me feel amazing that not only had they changed it, they didn't 
um, announce it to everyone. Just like when they changed the alcohol, they um, kind of did it in a hush way that wasn't too obvious. And that is just a really great touch um, because I didn't feel left out and I certainly didn't feel um, like I was the odd man out in this experience. Now, I'm not going to tell you all of the characters that they use because I really want people to, to go to this experience. It is hands down one of the best dinners that I have had in London. And I'm going to say something as uh, a southern woman who comes from Oklahoma. <laughs> I know a good steak. I happen to know a good steak. And they had a steak um, and it was just, it melted in your mouth and it was just chef's kiss chest kiss. Um, I've not had a steak like that here in England. Um, not saying I've had just had bad steaks. I'm just saying this is hands down the best steak I've had in England. And I re will for sure be ordering that again, even if I have to do the whole experience again, just to get it. Now, with this, you have 11 courses and with each drink and each course, you get this, this visual and, and audio experience that is obviously Batman themed. Um, and there's different characters each time. And there, there are some surprises in there too, which I really appreciated because it kind of um, was the icing on the cake, if you will. Now, there were a few celebrations at the dinner that I went to. There were two celebrations. There was a birthday and I believe it was a promotion or something along those lines for someone. And they did these little like celebratory cakes and it was really cool. And again, those tiny touches aren't actually that tiny. They make such a, a a great detail to, to everything. It's, it's just really great. At the end of the experience, you get a little surprise and I haven't actually had my surprises yet, but they are a box of chocolates, uh, Monarch Theatre chocolates, and each chocolate is themed with different characters. And I think that was great as a final touch. So, with the Monarch Theatre portion of uh, Park Crow, it's £190 a head, but hear me out. It is worth it. At first, I was like, that's a little much for dinner and a show. But like I said before, when I was explaining what it is, it's not just a show, it's a, it's a the full experience. Um, the staff are... are superior the the visuals and the audio and and the taste and everything is is probably going to be the best experience i have at a london restaurant and the courses my husband and i were like dead when we went home because this isn't just a, a dinner show it's a three hour I believe it was three hour experience altogether. It's worth the money. Um, if you want to experience a night in Gotham, go to Park Row. You don't have to go to the Monarch Theater portion of it, although I would highly suggest you go to it to experience at least once in your life. But the whole thing, it just felt like I walked into Gotham or what, what I had always thought Gotham would be. And to have an experience like that, take my money, take it all. Growing up as a little girl, I used to watch Batman the Animated Series and I would always see um, Bruce Wayne and the Selena Kyle and and all of the characters in Gotham and I would always dream of being able to have 
a place to go to like that that would have that kind of art deco old hollywood style and i feel as an adult woman that i actually do have a place that i can go to do that and thankfully i got to move to england 12 years ago and now i get to experience gotham in england i know this was kind of um, a bit of a choppy video but i wanted to get it out there go to this place it's called park row they have a really beautiful instagram um they do loads of like videos and stuff and photos and all of that thank you guys so much if you've got into this um if you've made it to the end um follow my instagram um you'll get loads of cat pictures uh i also have a tiktok but i'm more on instagram thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day and just remember even if you're having a really shitty day there's a little bit of gotham in london now you can go there and and despair all you want and the beautiful scenery. Love you guys!